So we're in the uh, Country Monk Cave here. It's kind of a cool place. It's, uh, you can stand up in it. And a little, little area for smokestack, I guess. Um, yeah, I've heard different stories about it. Uh, looks like it's dug out for someone to live in it at some point. Hear the echoes. I've been to the Kanjimuk Cave years ago. I paddled the Kanjimuk River, but this time I hiked back here. It's not a bad hike. You can actually drive most of the way up here. So yeah, that's the cave, and there's the opening for the chimney. I'm going to go back in there. I was saying it was big, it's big enough that you can actually uh, walk around inside it and stand up, and it's like 10 feet high in the uh, uh, highest parts of the cave. It's not very deep, just deep enough that you can... I don't know, it goes back, what, 30 feet at the most. There's the opening for the chimney. There's the way in and out. Probably with a fire in the winter, it would probably be actually pretty warm in here. It could be a pretty good shelter. It would be pretty dry. It may be a little damp. I mean, it's damp right now. But... So, yeah, this is the Kanjimong Cave. Uh, it's off of Cave Road up in Speculator Tree Farm. It's about a quarter mile from the... Kanjimuk River if you paddle up it, or you can hike back uh, about a mile from uh, Started Cave Road, or about a half mile from the gate on Cave Road. So yeah, there's the cave just a little ways off of Cave Road. There's a big sign that tells you how to get here, and I'll back up so you can see it a little better. It's built into the side of the mountain. Okay, well, I'm going to leave it here. I hope you enjoyed checking out Kanjimuk Cave.